Good morning to you all, and I greet you all on behalf of ICBA Brad Team. A happy good morning, and as we come together, um, let's commit this time into the hands of the Lord. Father God, we thank you, we praise you, Lord, for all the marvelous things that you do in and through our lives. And this morning, even as we come together, oh Father Lord, help us to have a meaningful time spent here together, encouraging and praying for each other, oh Father, and pray that, Lord Jesus, that you would undertake all our needs today and help us to seek you and keep our eyes focused on you today, oh Father, uh, for what you intend to do in and through our lives. We commit our each, each of us into your hands. In the name of our Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. As we worship the Lord, let's sing this um, uh, song. It's a very well-known song, Jehovah Zairah, my provider is gracious sufficient for this year. Good morning to you all and over to John, sir. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so I've just, uh, two portions that I've just brought in this morning on, uh, along with this uh, song that I thought was very apt. So while we looked at, uh, what I looked at the topic is provision and uh, while his grace is sufficient is part of the song, more on the provision part. So I've just brought in the fact there are two portions, one from the New Testament, one from the Old Testament. The Old Testament is when Jesus heard what happened and withdrew by the road privately to a solitary place, hearing of the thing. The crowds followed him on the foot from the towns. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed the sick. An evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, there is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking at heaven. He gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples and the disciples gave it to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 baskets of the broken pieces that left over. The number of those who ate uh, about 5,000 men, besides women and children. And just a quick correlation to the Old Testament is, this Exodus 6, 4 and 5, I also established my covenant with them, gave to them the land of Canaan where they needed foreigners. Moreover, I heard their groaning, that's whom the Egyptians had are enslaving, and I remembered my covenant. So basically, the uh, second portion I wanted to just quickly bring into perspective is about the manna that God gave from heaven. So when you sing this song, uh, if you can pictureize how it must have been for the Old Testament um, Israelites who were leaving uh, the town of Egypt and going to the promised land. So if it, the Bible portion tells us that 45 days of supplies they had and it was on the after the 45th day they started to curse God. 
so if uh, geography proves me right which is the thing that the routes that god could have taken them through was only a 40 day trek that they would have gone from the land of egypt to the promised land but for what all that they did they spent 40 years so which is why the food ran out on the 45th day which is always wondering you know, so so many people how did they manage food so they obviously they had taken enough provisions for 45 days and they managed it and they had no problem and then all of a sudden they dried up then they showed their true behavior they started cursing god and then he provided manna so then when the manna must have fallen from heaven they must have sung the same song with the same vigorousness of how god is my provider and he shall supply all my needs cut to the new testament when the people were listening to jesus and they were have been also tired and hungry imagine taking two little two uh, five fish five blows and two fish and everyone eating and 12 basketfuls remaining so the thought that i just leave behind this morning is that uh, when we run out and when we try and we are thirsty and hungry not just in the physical sense but in all senses financially and emotionally uh, it's i think we need to quickly realign our thoughts to his provisions and i i sense that you know there are times when we all just depend on our own strength and then it becomes very tough and then the feeling of uh, hunger and thirst in all forms takes over but if we quickly turn back to the bible and turn back to his word his provision it will never fail us i am not saying this like somebody who has uh, been able to do it very often i've suffered a lot of thirst and hunger you know the last uh, from before icbn and began and then went through icbn every every moment there have been ups and downs and i've you know experienced the need of you know food from spiritual sense from financial sense from health sense emotional sense and you know it's been only that uh, after a bit of you know being very thirsty very hungry that i turned to the lord and his word supplied all my needs and uh, no human person or human uh, interaction can satisfy like he can so his word so that was what i wanted to bring and share that the provision that he has for us is already stored and just a quick uh, thing about provision when you there's a desert in namib namib desert which is in africa where the dew comes in every morning and you can mm-hmm. actually tap into the dew and have water in a country that's a desert mm-hmm. so he provides even today it's not like he did these miracles in manna from the sky and multiplication of five loaves and two fish but he still does it it's just that we don't read it as miracles and we don't understand it but he's doing it every day in each of our lives so i just pray that today as we go through this day that god will continue to be the five loaves two fish manna for us in our daily needs and he will continue to support all our endeavors each of us in our businesses in our workplaces i pray and ask jesus to help us today jesus name amen